Here's Weatherspoon, power dunker. Oh. Oh, that, come on now, not bad. Not bad. Now he got a few tens over there from the players. The Shaq gave him a ten. Yeah, he brought that one. All right, let's listen to it. That was a great dunk. I, I think the people just don't know who Clarence Weatherspoon is, but watch this. Oh. I mean, that's a serious dunk with power. And a 43 2 the score for Clarence Weatherspoon. And next up will be Clarence Weatherspoon. Big lob. Oh! Okay, Charles Barkley, what do you think? I tell you what, that dunk is going to look even better in slow motion because he almost hit the rim. <laughs> I mean, he can get up. I mean, it's going to look better in slow motion. Here it is in slow mo, Charles. Okay, let's look at it again, and this time we're going to listen to it. And a modest score of 44.3. Gentlemen, do you think that's too low a score, Isaiah? Well, uh, again, and, and, and Michael Jordan and Dominique, those guys, they did come into the slam dunk competition with a man. Yeah, they, did, they, they, did just, they, they did not just go out there and randomly dunk. They had to dunk systematically planned. And therefore, it, it, they didn't they didn't have as much confusion when they went to attempt the next dunk. They knew exactly what they were going to do. So here's Weatherspoon's final dunk here. But remember, he's already guaranteed of advancing along with Miner and Sabalos into the championship round. Clarence Weatherspoon. behind the board. We'll listen to the sounds of this one. Clarence Weatherspoon. Charles Barkley, your comments. This guy's got great jumping ability and some serious power in his dunks. That's a pretty rare thing to have power and jumping ability. That's a great dunk. And a pretty good score. The judges are being tough. A 44-7. Weatherspoon says, what do I have to do? <laughs> You have to reach into your bag. That's what you have to do tonight. For his third dunk in order to advance. And here comes the power dunker, Clarence Weatherspoon. <laughs> That's the longest bounce off of this dunk in history. That bounced all the way out to half court, but did not go down. What do you think of this, Charles? Well, he got up under there a little bit too far. But I tell you, his head's up at that rim. He just glided in a little bit too far. And a 27.5. Almost but no cigar for Clarence Weatherspoon. 37.5 on the Sabalos dunk. And now Weatherspoon for his final. These guys are dunking for second place. Good power dunk from Clarence Weatherspoon. And he, that was a mad dunk. You might call that an angry dunk. 